this video is about Euclidean algorithm, specifically um, how to find a multiplicative inverse. So if you're looking for how to find the GCD using the Euclidean algorithm, that's a different video and I'll put the link in the description. But the goal for this, um, for this video is to find the inverse of a number modulo n. So something like this. If we say x inverse is congruent to what mod n, or you could say x inverse mod n is congruent to what. That's, that's the kind of problem we're trying to solve, trying to figure out what x inverse is when there's a mod involved. So I put as a note, when you see mod n, you see mod anything, you don't want to do this and end up with a decimal. That is not good. However, we do know that if you had 1 over x times x over 1, it equals 1, which I can rewrite as x inverse times x equals 1. So, in the same way for this kind of problem, we have x inverse, which we are given a number, times um, x is congruent to 1 mod n. So it follows the same rules for the name inverse. Um, another technicality is that the GCD of the two numbers that you're given, the mod and the x that you're trying to find the inverse for, must be 1. However, in a classroom, um, the teacher will generally make sure that's true, but it can mess you up if it's not true. You'll get funky results and all that kind of stuff. So, for an example, we want to find out what 20, what the inverse of 20 is mod 97. What is the multiplicative inverse of 20 mod 97? First, we do the Euclidean algorithm, which is sort of the forwards part. So we want to write 97 equals 20, and you can see I pulled those directly from the problem. 20 times something plus something. Um, so that's, that is, this number out here is the remainder. So 97 divided by 20 is 4 with the remainder of 17. I put less than 20 because it's the remainder. So we want to write it as 97 equals 20 times 4 plus 17. Next, we want to move it over. So we move the 20 over here, and we move the remainder, the 17, over here. See, so I have it color coded, and we have the same exact format. So I rewrote it as 20 equals 17 times 1 plus 3. 3 is the remainder. Okay, next up. You can see I put move over until we get to a remainder of 1. So 17, move it over, take the 3, move it over. Note that the 1 and the 4 here um, is not important. We basically ignore it. We don't care for this part. So we take 17, 3, move them over, say 3 times 5 plus 2, 17. And then again, take the 3, move it over, until we eventually get to this statement where we have a remainder of 1. Um, some people like to write it all the way down to 0, but you don't use the last one where the remainder is 0 in this case. So we can stop here. Okay, next we do what some people call the extended Euclidean algorithm. So I rewrote what was up here, down here, um, and you can see we went this direction. And then next, we want to go the opposite direction. So first, I started by solving for these numbers. Um, what I mean by that, you can see over here, um, from this inequality here, I put 1 equals 3 minus 2 times 1. I just literally rewrote each of these lines. Um, over here, um, where I solve for the remainder. Okay, so let's, let's move this up here. I'll be coming back to that. But now we do the backward step. We want to start with the bottom one, the last one we had before, hence the backwards. The 1 equals 3 
minus 2 to the 1, or 2 times 1. So I rewrote that here. And then one thing you want to note is that the next one, this 2 here, we, we had solved for 2 here. So in, in this part, you can say I put a box around 2. So the 2 is the one we want to substitute for. So you can see that I took where 2 was equal to 17 minus 3 times 5. So I plugged in 17 minus 3 times 5. I just substituted that in, exactly where the 2 was. And then I rewrote it um, down here. And in the next line, what I did was I took the next number up. We, had, we just did the 2 right here, and now we want to do the 3. So you can see I put a box around the 3 for, um, for each of each 3 in this equality. Now, the 3, since that is our next number, moving our way up, is the one we don't want to touch, if you will. We want it to remain 3. Um, so, to show you what I mean by that, when I um, combine these terms, I want to make sure the 3 stay intact. So 3 times 1 plus 3 times 5 is 3 times 6. Um, now, I put over here that you don't want to do, even though you technically mathematically could, obviously, you don't want to say 3 times 1 minus 17 times 1. Ooh, that's minus. That's correct. Okay, fix that. What we could have done, you can see from here, is if we had taken the 1s and said 3 times 1 and negative 17 times 1, we could have combined them and said negative 14 times 1 and then had the 3 times 5 left over. But we don't want to do that because we want to keep our 3s. Now remember, the reason we want to keep our 3s is because 3 was the next, the, uh, the next number we had solved for. And we're working our way up, as you can see with this arrow here. Okay, so down here you can see that 3 times 1 plus 3 times 5 is the same thing as 3 times 6. And then minus 17 times 1 because I had that left over. So now that I have combined them into one 3 term, I can substitute just like I did before. Remember 3 equals 20 minus 17 times 1. So you can see where I just plugged in 20 minus 17 times 1 times 6 minus 17 times 1. So I just plugged it in directly for the 3, substituted. Okay, what do we do next? Next we want to determine which number to leave alone, if you will. So we, had, we just did 3, now we want 17. That's the next one on our list. So I put a blue box around the 17s. So Remember, we don't want to touch those. Um, so when I multiplied this 6 through, to end up with 6 times 20, and then 6 times the negative 17 times 1, I, I could have done 6 times 17, whatever that would be, times 1, but instead I did negative 17 times 1 times 6 times 6 equals, or excuse me, and then minus 17 times 1, same as before. So I kept the 17 so that I could combine um, like terms. So we have negative 17 times 6 and negative 17 times 1. So that makes negative 17 times 7. Just combined 6 and the 1. So I rewrote it here. Now that we only have one 17 term, I can substitute, just like I have been doing. So I substitute 97 minus 20 times 4. Okay, so I did that. Now we've gone all the way up our, our list backwards here. So what comes next? What number do we want next? Well, if you recall, 
the original question was asking for 20, like I wrote here. So I asking for the inverse of 20. So therefore, 20 will be the next number that we want to single out. So I put a box around each of the 20s to leave them alone. 20 times 6. And then when I distributed the 7 here, we have 97 times 7. And then I chose to multiply the 7 times the 4 rather than the 20 because I don't want to touch the 20, I want to leave it alone because of this. So you'd say I have 20 times 6 minus 97 times 7 minus 20 times 28. Except for that it shouldn't be minus, it should be plus. Okay, there we go, fix that. To distribute your negative. Very important. So now I can combine my terms with 20 in them. So I finally carried down my 1 and say 1 equals 20 times 34, 34 being 28 plus 6, minus 97 times 7. Now Remember, the 20 is what we wanted to find the inverse of. So we really want that um, mostly by itself. 20 times something needs to be on the side by itself. So I'm going to move this 97 times 7 over to the other side. So I have 1 plus 97 times 7 equals 20 times 34. Now, the nice thing about this is that, if you recall, the problem was uh, modulus 97. Therefore, 1 plus any multiple of 97 is just 1 mod 97. So basically, anything with the mod in it, with the modulus in it, will go away. So this goes away, and we have 1 mod 97 equals, or is congruent to 20 times 34. Now whatever is multiplied times, we started out with 20, and now this thing that's multiplied times the 20, the 34, that is what we're looking for. That is the answer to our problem. So we can say that 20, the inverse of 20 is congruent to 34 mod 97. 34 is our answer. If you want another example, um, I will post a second video with the second example. Uh, please ask any questions if you have them.